and Furious. It's the it's the t-shirts again, lockdown, nothing else to do, casual stuff. But here, what have I got? And I'm a little, I'm going to rant a little bit because I'm a disturbed citizen of what I saw yesterday on television. A lot of anchors came on, you know, talking about this new policy that has been released by the government, doctors, there was a Dr. Agarwal, Dr. Trehar, everybody, including some, uh, some of our leading industrialists, leading lights of the industry, calling this a bold move. A bold move, folks. Let's not let the leadership get away with, with the chaos they've caused. This is hardly a bold move. Like finally Dr. Shok said from Escort said, this is this had to be done. This is no bold move. It would have been a bold if it had been done a year ago. The government had put its money where its mouth is the 35,000 crores that was lying in, 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 in the PM's care fund. That should have been doled out to, to, to whether it was Serum Institute or by, by, by all the Indian manufacturers to ramp up production. It should have been it should have been used to ramp up ramp up oxygen supply it should have been used to ramp up all the infrastructure did it happen absolutely not so if you now let them get away with it just because it's a bold decision that's been made a year too late i would say most of us educated people have a need to get our head examined folks most of us all of us in fact if we if we think that this is a bold decision at this point of time this is a decision made by a leadership that has a back towards the wall and has a no place to go. And probably a lot of them have blood on their hands because of the way they behave, whether by allowing all these kum melas and these election rallies. This is the reality, folks. And let's just say, tell you what, and this put very clearly by Atam Nirbhar in Blasted Times by Anjana Menon. What does she write? She says, usually ensuring the well-being of citizens is partly the job of the government we expect that in a crisis the government will measure up and sh shield us the other leaders that our leaders will have the presence presence to s to see what we can't we we can't and warn us of the dangers the covid 19 pandemic has been the litmus test for leaders everywhere many faltered because they were dealing with an unknown enemy the likes of which they had never seen in their lifetimes right so we were able to forgive them right everyone made mistakes that we common folk forgave because no one knew the true extent of COVID's potency or its aftermath. Millions the world over lost livelihoods, are their loved ones and courage. We all rallied, digging our heels and expecting we would overcome and it seemed we were getting there, especially in India. Until the first anniversary of our historic lockdown, while, our, while other countries were treading cautiously, we were gloating about how we had escaped relatively unscathed from the onslaught of the virus, how the economy had bounced back, and how we would end 2021 with a rope. The God complex was given to our leadership for, for saving us. And nothing could have been further from the truth as we can see now. Turns out, turns out it was chicanery. We were lulled into complacency by our leaders in power and outside who encouraged us to turn up in thousands of electoral rallies so that they could offer more empty promises and bait their opponents. Instead of telling us that we should exercise caution and not gather in large numbers for anything, including religious occasion, they told us that our faith, that our faith, folks, would protect us from COVID-19. They led poorly informed thousands to believe that they would be able to diligently administer COVID tests on site in the Kumbhila. What a lie and what a disaster. And these tests would keep an often asymptomatic, always infectious virus under check. How funny would that be, right? Instead of warning us that, that we were all a careless, that it was all a, we are all a careless mistake away from another vicious wave of pandemic, they allowed us to be lax. Even the most educated amongst us behaving recklessly, even though we knew the virus was resurfacing in many parts of the world. In the meantime, our leadership expended its zeal, hounding critics, too powerless to harm the powerful, when they should have come down heavily on those of us who were breaking rules and fanning the pandemic. Right? Our leaders are looking for votes. We know they will, they will not be held accountable. We must look for, at the leader within us and hold ourselves accountable. There is no better way to be Atam Nirbhar Bharat. That's what we've come down to, folks, and that is the reality. And let's just see about this. Oxygen shortage is due to incompetence, and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. 
The government prohibited the supply of oxygen for industrial purposes to divert the stock from medical use, began a process to import 50,000 metric tons of medical oxygen, claimed that domestic production would double and said the railway would run special trains. Hey, wow, this is what we're getting now, right? And every decision and step they're taking now, folks, is not going to deliver results for four months at least and we, this, this thing would have ravaged, this virus would have ravaged through us by then. This postponement which is leading to the loss of lives was a result of administrative inertia and a flawed tendering process that awarded contracts to companies that are ill-equipped to do the work required. Folks, I am guessing these were all the camp followers and bucks of the, of the ruling party that got these tenders. How many bets? Let's do a white paper on that, right? And then what do we have? Harshwardhan targets Manmohan over letter Congress charge charges back. Now this is a funny part. Harshwardhan, a lightweight, in any other, in terms of anything, is now wasting his time and actually looking so diabolically weak by taking on Manmohan Singh, who just unfortunately has been admitted to the hospital. But what Manmohan Singh thinks that said was absolutely right. It did not need a tutu meme for us from a senior thin, just a senior member of the ruling coterie. It just shows thin skin insecurity. And finally, PM meets pharma firms and doctors. Right. And right, it's really funny. Right after that, within because these decisions were made, because he was back to the wall, he had many doctors saying, well, oh, well, immediate decision. Right after we said, hey, this should have been done a year ago. Doctors were saying that it was a bold decision, folks. This was no bold decision. Ah. Oh. Fatnam is under fire as nephew gets waxy. Like I said, Fatnam is a toy who lost his chief ministership, ruining Maharashtra again. Because there is this whole scam and scandal, he says, and, uh, which he's replying to is about the Remdesivir uh, raid on this, this, this huge distributor by the existing government. And he came running and personally wanted to get that guy out of jail or whatever. There's got to be smoke where there is fire. Folks, 70,000 doses, as he says, Dareka. Asked FDA to purchase Remdesivir from Bruck, says Fatnavis. Now he's saying it's being stored in somewhere in Damanandiv. There is something there. Uh, is he going to be, is this, uh, this, this, this uh, BJP is no longer a, a, a party, seems to be a company, right? Are uh, they make, make money of our difficult times? You tell me, folks. Vaccines for all from May, folks. Great announcement, headline grabbing. That's all this government is. Where are the vaccines? Is what I asked, right? And Jay, Jay Shankar justifies vaccine exports. And I agree with him. Folks, remember, the Serum Institute is only a manufacturer. They have not created AstraZeneca. So to get the rights to manufacture, they would have done global deals. You cannot just break them just because you've not lived up to uh, your expectations. You've not put your money where your mouth is. We should have been ramped. We should have ramped up this production capacity long time ago. Bojo, trip off. UK puts India on Russ, uh, 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 red list, sad. US Russia halt visa processing, even sadder. But it had to happen. Right? Finally, BJP cuts back in Bengal, now dangerous to hold big rallies. Folks, after the damage has been done, this is what we are left with. This is the kind of chicanery. Unbelievable. But on the other side, the poor people, factory workers in panic, owners are worried a lot. Look at this. Number number, migrant, migrants get sense of deja vu as scores rush for home. Yesterday, see that 50,000 people were at the inner Anand Vihar bus station. What do you tell them, right? Now, what is the good stuff that's happening? Though? Forget this, this is, this is a disaster. The JMM example. He, they've obviously what they by disclosing source of funds received through electoral bonds, the party has set a welcome precedent. Others must follow suit. This is the important part, folks. Others must follow suit, but will they? I doubt it. Then the other thing I've been wanting to see, a peek into how new Rajput buildings will look. All I wanted to say is, okay, you're going to build them new. You've done that. You've put in the book. But make sure the buildings are not all glass and all the, the newer designs because India cannot afford those in terms of the electricity and heat. What you need to is design buildings that work with, at least in Delhi, with the extreme summers and are designed accordingly. And this is the other guy thinks that people beat up on these foreign companies and Am Amazon. But this is it. Last year, Amazon created 3 lakh new jobs in India in 12 months. Not only that, they are the only ones putting their money where their mouth is, not the government Amazon. But this is the other thing. 
privatization no more a dirty word absolutely it's not as long as it doesn't just go to adani adani flipkart tie up for logistics data hub flipkart adani join hands to set up data center warehouse this is the key when you're doing privatization folks it has to be above board look about look above board be above board and be transparent cheers